course, we're going to be talking to him very soon. There's a nice vibe to that. And if you can remember back to when we originally started playing his first songs here in Dublin South FM, I have to say that there's a whole new development and also a level of production here that is not just sitting in setting in one or sitting in one camp it's actually migrating across we seem to be having this wonderful development of across genre styles and again this is a very talented man based in the Netherlands um he's been in so many festivals and um has an amazing history as well because he didn't start in this area of music. He actually has evolved and I liked what he's done is he sent me on some of the lyrics from this particular track. So I'm going to read it out to you. Never tell me where to walk. Never tell me where to go. Do not tell me how to talk, how to walk, how to live. So do not tell me how to feel and never tell me how to love. Do not tell me how to walk, how to breathe, how to greed, freedom. And that's what life's all about, is finding freedom. And that's one of his tracks. This is particular, like, I love the lyrics. And if you listen to this on a loop, you're going to enjoy them as well. So the fun part of life is exploring new sounds, new music and um, connecting with the artists as well. So guys, if you have a track or you have something creative that you'd like to send on to us, you know where to get us. And I'm very happy to receive brand new stuff. But I do want to talk to the man at the centre of this conversation because we, he's joining us live from the Netherlands. Colin Enrico, how are you doing? Hello. How are you? Oh, oh great. It's uh, working. Good. <laughs> Yeah. And we're live on the power of dreams. It's so good to talk to you. It's been a little while, I have to say, but you've been a busy bee. Tell me about what's been happening for you. Um, yeah, great for having me. And uh, it's very nice. And uh, yeah, I love to speak with you. And it, uh, yeah, it's now uh, one year, almost a year ago when I uh, wow. came to Dublin and came live in the studio. And uh, things are going well. And it's because, um, yeah. I, uh, you, you meet and see in your own vibrations. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, I was a little bit quiet a long time. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. There's I a few also, of us uh, like that. I think we kind of had to, what, recharge, reset. There's definitely a sense of that in the creative world where taking time for self was so important. Yeah, it is. And it's uh, like... Uh, yeah, it's like a half year. People from the light are getting distracted by uh, by many things, and it's also uh, uh, yeah. For some people, it, it sounds very spacey, of course, but uh, a lot of things happen in the cosmos to uh, yeah distract people from the light and in their dreams and with their with their thoughts and stuff. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's always, uh, yeah, we spoke about it. It's always to, to find the middle because, yeah, there is love and light, of course, but we are all one, like the like, like the yin-yang uh, sign. Because uh, I say, yeah, when um, uh, without darkness, uh, no stars could shine. And uh, if I shine some bright lights in your, right, in your eyes, it makes you blind, uh, if you understand what I'm saying. So, yeah. It's a there conversation. is also love, but there is yeah. also, yeah. Uh, it, there is darkness. love. It's a very, very important thing as well. But see, a lot of people don't talk about the dark. And that's equally as important because sometimes in the industry and in life, in the world, and especially with social media, it can reflect that everything is perfect all the time. But to be quite honest, you know, it's not always like that. And I do think it's great to have that conversation to say, look, you will have times where you have to just check in on yourself. Yeah, it is. It it is. Uh, it, yeah, the only way out is is in. And I, I guess people uh, they are running away from themselves and um, yeah, from their feelings because yeah, it's always it's also okay to to yeah. It's I always say happy thoughts, happy day. But yeah, nice it's, it's not always like this. It's not possible. And uh, yeah, it's always to find the the, the middle and. Um, yeah, it's it's okay to feel uh, emotions or yeah, yeah, dark emotions and yeah, let that be and let that feeling uh, come in inside, but not running away from it. So uh, 
yeah, you have always uh, put your own Christmas lights on, you know. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, uh, and especially in Don't Go There, which we just played for everybody. When you left me, it didn't feel fine. I always feel your soul and you feel mine. You broke my heart in a letter. More close together, it felt even better. Like, it's a real honest conversation with the world, but also how important is music t- for you to um, express what's going on in you and outside uh, of you? Yeah, yeah it's always, uh, um, it's, uh, it's healing as well to, um, yeah, uh, to uh, speak, uh, yeah, to speak from your soul. And because, yeah, some people get locked there. Uh, we have chakras, you know, and yeah, if they not can say what they want, their uh, throat chakra, for example, will close and the rest will also block. So it's a great expression to, uh, yeah, put your emotions in, in songs and um, and heal parts of yourselves. Yeah. Do you think it takes courage to be able to be totally honest with people on this planet? Because I know I went through a long time of making other people happy and sacrificing my own Mm self-wealth and inner wellness because of it. Because I thought that was a priority is don't hurt other people, don't offend them, keep them happy. And I was okay to be the martyr for a while, but not anymore, thankfully. I'm here doing what I need to do and I've no problem being honest. But there is a part of us that protects ourselves from getting hurt um how difficult is that yeah it's it's it is difficult but i think we in the world we we just need this we need this uh um uh, yeah um yeah that we are uh, spo- speak our feelings because we live in a society in a system who has uh, suppressed this a lot from many years you know in this uh, masculine energy that the man can can't cry and stuff but we yeah, we we have to uh, speak about our our feelings and our truths because this is very important. Yeah, for 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 the human for the for humanity actually. I I saw you. Um, you know, usually I stalk my guests, which is always a good thing to be doing late at night. But uh, you posted a wonderful yeah. few lines, and I just wanted to drop it into the mix here as well because it was all about listening to the voice and it, it, you wrote here listen to the voice often hidden behind layers of dust which slowly fade oh yeah 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 and listen to the voice your own voice which is more powerful than the world's um do you do you feel that music is the way that you can express that yeah and um, yeah music is the best uh, therapy uh, therapist uh, as well for people and yeah, that line, but yeah, I'm also writing a lot of stuff and I say, yeah, it's uh, writings from the soul. And uh, I mean, because yeah, people are busy with uh, a lot of things, but not, uh, yeah, uh, with their own voice. You know, we have also our own uh, intuition. And I always say, yeah, follow your heart because from the outside world, there is a lot of uh, misleading and distraction to keep you from your path, from your own um, yeah, from your own existence uh, of who you truly are. So, um, yeah, the voice uh, of the world uh, is not what we have to listen to. But, yeah, listen to yourself and to your heart. And, uh, yeah, then your path, the layers of dust will go away, actually. And the source will come like the, yeah, yeah, the intuition will come. Um, yeah, and this is it, right? <laughs> You you didn't start in this genre of music because there was an era where you were in the industry, in the music industry very early and it was a completely different journey for you. Before the this, when it all started. You yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when you were younger, it was a, a clean yeah. cut young boy in the industry. There was a lot of exposure. You, you, you know, were in the national, you know, platform musically as mm. well. That does that feel like a million miles away from where you are now? It feels like uh, a different life, you know. Like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't believe in. I ah, believe. Uh, I think past lives and uh, uh, future lives it don't exist because for me it all happens in the here and now, and like we are yeah, evolving or dying. We die every day, actually. So we always. Uh, yeah, we always heal parts of ourselves, and we let them, uh, we let them there. And uh, yeah, we are spiritual, 
spiritually growing. But yeah, I was uh, from 16 year old. I was in the world from uh, yeah media and uh, yeah musical and all kind of things and TV. And um, I became aware that this is not the this is not the real world, you know, a world of fame stuff and uh, yeah, being famous. And um, I always uh, thought this is not the way because uh, yeah, I know as well that um, like uh, yeah, in America stuff, people were uh, metaphorically selling their soul to uh, get famous. But yeah, my soul is mine, and uh, yeah, I. I, I I did my own way. I, uh, yeah. You found your own truth, I think, sometimes through the hardest times and challenges. And it might be a moment in time where you get hurt beyond where you actually are in space and time. And and for you, you're very good at um, finding time for yourself now. Was that something you learned over time or was there a moment where you went, right, I'm making this change? Um, yeah, I learned that um, also, uh, yeah, people are also, yeah, they are like, some of them, they are like workaholics, you know. And uh, yeah, with taking some rest and to think about many stuff, yeah, it, um, yeah, it, uh, I became, uh, yeah, this spiritual uh, awakening actually, because when I was young, I was aware uh, of society because, um, yeah, I was always a great creative person. And from yeah young age, from, from the first school, they, they, um, yeah, they want to put that crea- uh, creativity out of yourselves. So, um, yeah, I saw it was not, uh, yeah, it was not my society, actually. So was that your question, actually? So uh... Yeah, no, the, um, it's it's interesting because there's a lot of young artists on the rise now. There's a whole different mm-hmm. platform. Social media has given a different journey for our creatives. If you want to do music, you don't actually have to gig ever. You can just go and put it onto social platforms and Spotify and all yeah. the different ones as well. And and that's great because maybe on some level, um, you know, there's a protective element to that, but then there's different exposure on a larger level as well. Um, how, how do you manage with social media and just keeping the balance? Because that can be very difficult as well because there's a part of you that's very realistic, but in, in truth, when you're, it comes to music and being an artist, you have to do social media up to yeah, a certain point. Yeah, it's it's very hard. Actually, I, today I spoke about this with uh, yeah with uh, with my lover. <laughs> actually, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's very hard um, to keep everything uh, with yourself because yeah, the mu- music, the world of music and television is also a little bit yeah a, little, uh, a dark world. You know how I say this, but um, yeah, it's very difficult because everything life is a creation. And um, yeah, it's all about the music. This is my thing to create music. And now I do everything on my own, you know, I'm my own, in my own management and uh, yeah, to find my own gigs and stuff. But um, yeah, sometimes you have to uh, yeah, give that away a little. So now I'm looking also for a person who can manage me in that. And um, yeah, you cannot have uh, do everything alone because sometimes you need help and people, yeah, also me, they want to do everything alone, but sometimes you, you need some help from others to, uh, to grow and also spiritually grow. So, uh, but it's difficult. It's very difficult and hard uh, to do everything on your own. Yeah, but, totally. uh, I think yeah, the, the creation is the most important thing. So it's all about the, this music and the creation and uh, yeah, everything else. This is, uh, yeah, this is another story. Yeah, well, so, yeah. it's so exciting that we managed to get you and I, pr- I really genuinely appreciate you making time. I know you're very busy and you're creating as we speak. We did get to play Don't Go and we're going to play Spiritual War awesome. after this as well because we're oh, giving great, you, great, yeah, nice. we want to give you two uh, plays today for making time just to chat to us. And um, people can get you online and um, go to Colin Enrico Music and also yes. you're on different platforms. If somebody wants to listen more to you, what's the easiest one for them to get you? Yeah, I'm um, putting everything on YouTube. But um, yeah, this week uh, I heard 
maybe five or six times so uh, yeah hey are you on uh, spotify and um yeah if you hear it uh, if you hear it very uh much then it it's a sign you know yeah so, totally uh, yeah yeah maybe uh, yeah i will uh, find out uh, how spotify works and uh yeah it's also <laughs> like yeah i think so it. Away, you know, Colin, so, you need somebody to manage that side of it. So guys, anybody out there who can genuinely give the support <laughs> to Colin. And I mean, it's music is very precious. I totally get it. But also to get it out to the world is very important too, that you deserve that coming back at you. Thank you so much, Colin, for yeah, making thank time. Thank you so much. It was awesome. It, uh, it, it's nice to hear your voice always. Ah, you know? Likewise. Yeah. Enjoy the rest yeah. of your day. And we're going to go to this Thank track. Thank you so much. Can you, can you introduce this yourself there, Colin? We're going to actually do Spiritual War. So here we go. Yes. Okay. Now, this is my song. Which one is it? Don't go, right? No, Spiritual War. <laughs> oh, Spiritual War. <laughs> well, okay. that's okay. This is a song, a new song of mine, uh, Spiritual War. And um, yeah, it's all about, uh, yeah distraction from our own path and um yeah enjoy it <laughs> i'm not so good in this but uh, <laughs> you're yeah, great here we go introduce myself it's, um, <laughs> 